The last week we talked about everything that is to know about armor and penetration. Like what do the different values mean and how are they influencing my game. But a lot of people ask me now, which armor should I play then? And with this video we are going to answer exactly that question. And I'll show you the process on how you can find an armor that suits your needs. It's just like the old saying. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, but teach a man how to craft super water and you'll feed him for a lifetime. Now the first step in this process is to find the right armor class. And for that, you need to have played a couple of games before or you have to know what ammo types are pretty common right now. One way to do this is just to look at the end screen because every bit of damage gets locked and you can look at it at the end screen. And this gives you a lot of information. For example, what type of ammo kills you the most. And based on that information, we choose our armor. So let's for this example just assume that I mainly get shot at with BT. So I hop onto the wiki, link as always in the description, and look up BT. And now we look at the values. 44 damage, 37 penetration. So looking at those values, especially penetration, we know that we need at least a level 4 armor. So let's look at level 4 armors. Now the first question here is, do we need an armored rig? Because there are certain exits that don't allow body armor or make armored rigs just better suited for the job. For example, no backpack exits on reserve or interchange or the Red Rebel exit on reserve. If this is not the case, then you can just skip that decision for now. Now the next step is back on the wiki and there we look at the effective durability of an armor. In this case it's just armored vests and now we just scroll through level 4 armor and look at the effective durability to see if we find one that has a decent value. And in this case, well, it's only the trooper. So open a new tab for the trooper so you don't forget and keep going. Alternatively, you can just take a look at the Excel that I linked in the description as well. There you can see everything on one page. And again, if we take a look at level 4 armor right here, we see the trooper and then we straight go to armor rigs. In this case, the TV-110, A-18, AVS and the Anna M1. So we write those down or just keep them inside your head. And then a couple of columns to the right, we see how well and how cost efficient you can repair certain armors. So write those down as well or keep them in your head again. And now it's time to compare those four. Just four to make it easier for this example, right? And the first thing, of course, the effective durability. And in this case, the trooper is just over the top. It just is an amazing level 4 armor vest. But all of them have pretty decent effective durability stats, especially compared to the really cheap armor tricks that a lot of people use even late game. I'm guilty of that as well. <laughs> but those cheap rigs just don't stop many bullets. Then let's compare the repairability. For example, the trooper vest can be repaired very well and it doesn't cost that much. The TV rig can be repaired pretty well as well, but it's a lot more expensive and that can be a lot of rubles if it's down to zero. The Anna also very good with repairability, a bit more expensive to repair but not over the top. And then we have the AVS. Now this armored rig is pretty bad when it comes to repairability. It loses a lot of points on the maximum durability with each repair and it costs also a lot to repair it. So now that we know all of this, it's time to start thinking about how you want to play it. For example, a trooper vest is very good for people with a high survival rate because you can easily reuse it after the raid, but once you die, you will not get it back. People will pick it up. So take the insurance return into consideration. But now to the most important part. How much do we have to pay? And the trooper usually sits around 100,000 rubles and there's no trade and it can't be crafted. Now the TV rig is usually around 140,000 on the flea market, but there is a way cheaper way to get it. More on that later. Now the Anna are usually around 1 on 10,000, but there is an amazing way to get this rig for around 30,000 rubles, I'll show you in a minute. And then the AVS, well, it's expensive, the trade is expensive, so there isn't really a cheap way to get it. Now the reason why the trooper is that expensive is basically because it's bound to a trade that gives you a slick armor, so if the slick gets more expensive, the trooper gets more expensive. Which is a pity in my opinion, but oh well. So now we have pretty much all the information that we need to make a decision. The only thing left are barter trades. 
Because with those, you can save a lot of rubles if you have the traders on the specific level. For example, the TV110, an amazing rig, which you can trade for shampoo and bleach. And both of those can be crafted in the hideout on the lavatory by using pretty common items. And if you go one step further and even find those items in raid, the rig is more or less just for free. But the Anna is just unbeatable. At Ragman level 3 you can trade this rig for 4 aquamarine waters and 1 quas water, however that's pronounced. Now you can buy those on the flea market or go one step further and craft them yourself. So if you can use the water filter to make this super water, then use this super water on the nutrition station. Together with this pipe thingy you get 8 of those water bottles. And considering that the water filter only costs 25,000 currently, this gives us 1.5 super waters. Then 10,000 for the pipe for the craft. That's only 12,000 rubles for 4 bottles. Plus the quas water. So you can get this rig for 22,000 rubles. But therefore it doesn't have the same effective durability as for example a trooper. So it's not as good as for example a trooper or a TV rig. On the other hand, well, proper sells level 5 armor for 120,000. So if you want to go for the trooper, you may just want to upgrade to that. But okay, let's now look at the insurance return. Now the TV rig, it's gone pretty much always. Why? Pretty simple, it offers a lot of space and it's small. So people just put all the loot in your own TV rig, put it in their backpack and they still have space for your weapon right beneath it. And it's an also pretty decent armored rig, so yeah, that's gone pretty much always. Now for the trooper or just vests in general, the insurance return rate is a lot higher. Simply because it blocks space in your backpack and if you found something more valuable in terms of rubles per slot, you're just not gonna pick up an armor. And now the Anna. Again, pretty amazing budget rig. Cause I'm getting this thing back all the time. Now the reason why is pretty simple. Yeah, it offers a lot of space, but with common backpacks, your backpack is just full. So you don't have space for a weapon or any big items. The rig is also pretty heavy with 8 kilograms, meaning that you're overweight and can't take a lot of items with you for only a rig worth 80,000 rubles, so most people just leave it be. So this rig is my little budget secret, by the way. <laughs> also because it has an amazing repairability, so you get a pack by insurance, repair it, you're good to go. And now to answer the question, what level 4 armor should I be wearing? If you need the best protection, then definitely go for a trooper or for the TV rig. But if budget is important to you, then go for the Anna Arms. And of course, if you want to flex, then, well, you go for that one. <laughs> now, one last thing I want to talk about is kind of what to do and end why when everybody is playing best ammo anyways that can't be stopped by an armor effectively. It can't just slow down the bullet a bit. And when this happens, you can actually make a good argument to just go back a knot and play low tier armor again just to have some protection against scavs because, well, players are gonna chew through your armor anyway. This is especially efficient if you don't have the money or just don't want to play a slick armor every single raid. You even see me run around a lot with just a press vest, it's a level 3 armor. So that's just as a side note. But in general, I hope you understand how I go through the process of finding an armor that suits me and hopefully you can find one as well that fits your needs exactly. So I hope it was helpful, if so, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more as always, and if you need help, join our Discord, a lot of helpful people there, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.